help. In this video, we are going to learn about the, what is EC2 and how to launch a EC2 instance uh, from AWS Management Console. So let's quickly jump into what is Amazon EC2. So basically, EC2 is an elastic compute cloud. Here, two C C compute and another C is cloud. So elastic compute cloud is a web service that provides secure and reliable compute capacity in the keyword. This is the keyword compute capacity. Out of the four pillars of AWS, means compute, storage, network, and security. You can call this is the first pillar. That's a compute service. So basically, it's a compute capacity that provides compute capacity in the cloud. So we have different use cases, and we have different types of uh, instance type available in AWS. We can discuss about those in later classes, later videos. So this is, this is basically what is AWS means. It is basically compute capacity in the cloud, which offers a compute servers. It means we can, in the other terms, we can call it as a virtual missions. So in order to work, start an ECT instance, first we need to search here. This is a search bar. This is a basic AWS console homepage. Okay, here the search bar is available. Here we have to search either EC2 or Elastic Compute Cloud. We can either give the anyway, either we can give. So if you search EC2, it's give the, what is a brief description about it. It's watch for servers in the cloud. If you hit this, it will be will land it will land in this page. Okay, here you can see the instances. Instances click on this. Yeah. Currently, we don't have any instances. Firstly, this is my account and this is my nearest region. It's always a better idea, better choice to choose the nearby region in order to avoid the latency. It means the request and response time will be less, will be minimal if you select the region which is nearer to us. For me, it's a Mumbai region, as you specific. So, AP South one is a nearby region. It's always advisable to create a region which is nearer to us. Select the region which is needed to us. Hit on launch instance. First one, we can name it as my demo instance. We can name it as like this. We have options to choose uh, Amazon which name is it's like AMI. We can call it as a shortcut. We can choose either of the AMIs available here or we can browse for more AMIs. We can create a custom AMIs. For as of now, we can choose the Linux AMI. Here, yeah, the free tier eligible. For now, go with the free tier eligible. But because we are just practice purpose only. It also instance type. So we have multiple instance types available from one CPU, one vCPU to nearly 16 CPU, 64 CPU, 92 CPU. Like that. For as of now, P2 micro is enough. One CPU, one GP memory. It's make sure it's to select a free tier eligible here. Here also, MI also free tier eligible. We have other MIs also, which is not eligible for free tier. Go for as of now, go with the free tier eligible. Okay, free tier eligible MI selected key pair. Yeah, this is our first time we are creating, right? So, better create a new key pair. So, enter a key pair. My demo key pair. Okay, I'm in this name, my demo key pair. So keep it everything same, create a key pair. Then automatically key pair will get downloaded. Just select that key pair. Okay, it's already selected my demo key pair. Let that networking keep it as it is now. Okay. For now, create a new security group. Uh SSH from anywhere. We need to yellow this SSH. From anywhere in order to get inside of a Kubernetes, uh, the inside of a EC2 instance. So for now, keep it as it is. And the configure store is also keep it as it is. Let's hit on launch instance. And by the way, we can able to see the summary what we did till now. So we are requesting or we are launching one instance here. This is the AMI type that we are trying to create, and this is the virtual server type. This is a firewall, no security group. New security group we are creating and volume is we are keeping as a default so by default under free tier we have 720 hours 
of uh, into micro or T3 micro in some regions. Uh, we have that option, 750 hours they are giving for free per year, in the first year. So we can make use of this. So I'm clicking on launch instances. Okay. So it is creating an instance, initializing an instance successfully initiated. So we have option two options. We can directly hit on this or we can go back to instances. We can see here. As of now, instance state is pending. We can see here. Okay, so if you check check this one, we have options. Let me pull it up. Pull it up. Yeah, it's by default assigned to a public IPv4, private IPv4, and one instance ID. It's set up to the security group. In the security group, we allowed port range 22 access, without which we can't able to SSH into the particular EC2 instance. So once it's running and we have status set should be two by two enabled. Yeah, this is that status set is fine now. Let's quickly refresh this one. The status set is still initializing. Let me refresh my whole browser page. <clears throat> yeah, we can wait or uh, we can let's try to connect to ECD instance. We have multiple options to connect. I will show you. Hit on this connect. One second, I'll show you. Save the ECT instance here. And yeah, this connect option will get highlighted. Yeah, click on connect. We have four options as of now in this region EC2 instance connect, session manager, SSH client, EC2 serial console, out of which most of the people are using this SSH client. <clears throat> but now we have access to in this region, we enable this one. So using this also, we could be able to connect. So we can connect here. So we are connecting to this EC2 instance using EC2 instance connect. So if there is no issues, we could able to connect. Yeah, we are successfully logging. Doesn't work in directory. I'm giving EC2 user. So cat and things. EC password. We want to see the what is the users available here. See. Our EC2 user is available here. So this is how we should be able to connect to uh, AWS EC2 instance. In upcoming videos, we'll discuss what are the other ways to connect to AWS EC2 instance. Mainly this SSH client one we can discuss in the upcoming videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.